Remember that song? That was uh, David Lee Roth's cover of Tobacco Road with Steve Vai ripping it up on guitar. Great shit. 1986, I think. Uh, and that's where we're going today. Welcome back, everybody, to Tony's Story Time. And uh, 1986, I'm playing with Joe Lynn Turner, fabulous singer, who's in a band called Rainbow. And um, we get to the rehearsal studio one day, and he's like, so I got a call from my agent. Uh, NBC is looking for a band to be in this movie called Blue DeVille. And uh, we got the gig. So it's about two girls following a rock band around the country. Terrible premise, terrible movie, whatever. I do not recommend it, unless you want to see me in crazy war paint, crazy hair. Um, so off we go to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, our handler meets us and gives us the lowdown on what our shooting schedule is and everything and what we can expect. And also tells us there's another movie in town staying at the same hotel, the La Fonda, in the town of Santa Fe, in the town square. And it's called the Milagro Beanfield Ward, and it's starring Sonia Braga, directed by Redford, and wait for it, also starring Christopher Walken. So we're all like, that's it. We're going to meet Chris Walken. We're pumped. More cowbell, a whole bit. Although this is before more cowbell. Um, and he's like, tomorrow night, there's a club in town called Club West, and they are hosting a welcome party for cast and crew of both movies. So, of course, off we go to Club West the next day. And, you know, usually these things are attended by, like, the crew and, the, you know, people like us who were nobody. Uh, but everyone was there, Redford, Braga, and Walken. So I am eating a roast beef sandwich because they have like, a cold buffet. And while I'm eating this, I see Walken looking over at us because we all have long hair. We're the only people that look like Walkers there and makes a beeline for us. So my buddy Steve's like, hey, Tony, Walken's coming over here. Um, Steve West from Danger Danger. Anyway. Uh, he comes over and he's like, hey guys, Chris, how are you? So we're like, yeah, good, you're Chris Walken. He's like, yeah, he goes, do you guys know where I can get any pot? So I'm like, uh, we have pot. He's like, can we smoke some pot? And I'm like, yeah. So we go outside, there's like an outdoor area. I roll a joint and I'm like, please do the honors. I give it to Chris. He's like, this pot tastes like roast beef. <laughs> so I'm like dying laughing. We hang out like the next night. Then they arrange this volleyball tournament between all of us. And it's like 110 degrees in summer in Santa Fe. He's wearing like, you know, long sleeve, like long sleeve, uh, black corduroy shirt, black corduroy pants, Ray Bans, loafers. We're all like, in, you know, tank tops and shorts. Um, and we pretty much spent two weeks hanging out when we didn't have to work together. And he, it was a super cool dude. We had so much fun. By the end of it, he's like, you know, I'm in New York. You're in New York. I lived in Riverdale at the time. I was married to um, my ex-wife, Lisa. And he's like, give me a call. He's his number. So I'm like, okay. Get back. And I tell Lisa the story. She's a huge walking fan. And she's like, yeah, right. She's like, I'm sure. And she's like, I'm not saying he wasn't there. And I'm not saying you didn't meet him. But I'm pretty sure you didn't hang out. I'm like, all right, I'm making this all up. I'm like, you can ask Joe and Al and the other guys. And, they get, and she's like, whatever, you know. So I let it go. I don't call him because I feel weird. I'm like, what am I going to call him up and say, oh, hey, man, it's Tony from Santa Fe. Remember me? So and maybe if I did it the day after, it would have been easier. But like, I waited too long. So at the time, there was this really cool place called Columbus. Um, and I don't know how it became a really cool place because it was a typical Upper West Side like restaurant, corner restaurant, like all glass windows, nothing fancy. But it was right by the uh, Beacon Theater and right by the old China Club. And we used to all hang at the China Club. So everyone used to go there at the China Club, like actors, musicians, Paul Stanley from Kiss used to hang out there, Danny Aiello, the actor, just tons of people, famous people, I don't know what. Um, so we go there after the China Club one night, this is like two months after Santa Fe. And uh, we're sitting down, me, Joe Lynn, Al Greenwood, my wife Lisa, and she spots, guess who, across, the club. She's like, hey, look, it's buddy Chris Walken. Go over and say hi to him. She's like, that's my boss. And I'm like, okay. And I look to see who's with because, like, of course, I don't want to just barge in or something. And he's sitting with John Gotti and John Gotti's bodyguard. And I'm like, I'm not going over there. It's not that I don't want to say hi to Chris. I don't want to go over there because 
this big job. God, I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure it's not that. So I'm like, whatever it is. Um, Walken gets up to go to the bathroom, and as he's walking, he kind of does a double take and turns around and looks right at us and changes direction and starts walking to our table. And she's like, he's walking towards us. I'm like, he's like, Santa Fe, volleyball, right? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, how you doing? I did see, he said, like, you never called me. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't think about it. And then it got too long and I thought, and, and he said, hold that. And he goes to the bathroom, comes back straight to our table, introduces himself to Lisa, who's just got this like look on her face. And uh, he's like, says hello to everyone else at the table. And he's like, I'm sorry, I want to be with, can, can I borrow him? And I'm like, no, I'm not him. where are we going, dude? And he's like, come sit with us. And I'm like, uh, okay. So we go over there. And he's saying, no, we're sitting with Walken and John Gotti. John Gotti! Hanging out at his table with his bodyguard. And, I, and the other guys in the band just looking at me like, oh my God, we're so good at So we ended up spending the night with Gotti and Walken. And the end of the night, I get home and I'm just looking at her. We're doing a look. She's just like, oh my God, that was great. That was amazing. I'm like, yeah, I go, you got something you want to say? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'll never, I'll never doubt you again. I'm like, yeah, yeah thanks. She ended up paying me back though with a, uh, a meeting with Keith Richards and Patty Hansen that was equally as epic. We get that story happening another time. But till then, my friends, keep on rocking and peace out.